Hello, my name is Suleiman Qureshi, and I will talk to you today about adding events or activities to your Outlook. An event is an activity that lasts 24 or longer hours. Example of an event includes a trade show, a seminar, or a vacation. Usually an event occurs one time and can last for one day or several days. An annual event such as a birthday or an anniversary occurs yearly on a specific date. So events and annual events do not occupy blocks of time in your calendar. These events appear as banners. All day event appointment displays your time as busy when viewed by other people. But an event or an annual event displays your time as free. Let me show you how you do it normally. So you simply go to your calendar and at home tab, you can see this new and in the new, new items. Click on the new items and then you add an all day event. This is an all day event. It can be your holidays. It can be your, your seminars or some workshops, or it can be your weekly or monthly tasks that you have planned for yourself or anything. So this is what is recurring or is occurring once in the year. So that's how you add it into your calendar on any day. Now, moving on, what I want to show you is how you can do it in your system automatically by pulling in everything in your calendar. So in the calendar, for example, in April 2016, I want to pull in some events. And these events should not cover my all the calendar as busy, but these should appear as banners on the top rather than active in the activities down there or in the appointments. So I will simply go in the notepad, which you have each of you in your windows, simply go to start and the windows, you can find it. So I will go simply to font and make the font a little bigger so that you can also see uh, how I'm playing with this. So simply go to the notepad and you will write the text now, start your parenthesis and put any text that you want to be the title of your event. So let, let's say I put Suleiman April holidays and then I close it and after closing I have to put a number over here number of the events that I want to pull in so in our case it was five five days let me show you one two three four five so we have five days over here which want to pull in so five is the number you can pull in 365 you can pull in 20 as much as you want so I will put the first title of the text, which will be on the banner or the event. So the text is April holidays, April 2016 is the year. Then I will pull in the month over here. So April is the month and 25th is the date. So I will pull in month. I say not the date again, not the date 25th, but month. So I'll put 04 slash 25. So this is the first date that will be pulled in. So an event, full day event will be pulled in. I'll pull it again for the next day. Again, the same date means 26th in the same format rather. So 26th I've changed. I will copy and pull it down to the third row. 27th. Similar operation will be repeated for 28th and accordingly for 29 so I have my five days events ready here so now comes the real trick how to save it so that we can execute it directly in our outlook so go to the file menu and then save when you pull the save in button you can see the location put it on the desktop for example holiday is the title the file and dot hol this is important hol this is the key and trick in this particular action. So HOL and then simply save it. This is the calendar uh, readable file. So now I will pull it here on your um, visibility holidays.hol. It is quite like a calendar format, not like a notepad. So if you click on it, you see after double clicking, it asks me add holidays in the calendar, which is the title, the same title. I will show you the title from the notepad. You see, I pulled in this title, Suleiman April holidays here. So this is the title that is appearing over there. So you can put anything over here, your vacation, your workshop days, your closing activities, whatever. 
So if you open with Notepad, you can see the command or the text you have. And if you double click on it, you can see it via the calendar and it asks or prompts for the addition in the holidays. You can also do it open with Outlook. This is another format or way to do if it is not working with the double click. So I'll click on it and I'll press OK. It shows a message which says the holidays were added to your calendar. OK, so these events have been added to my calendar. Let's see, are they there? Yes, they are. You see, all of the events are there. So you can pull all of them um, in one go, just as a reminder. So whenever you will pull in any appointment or anything in your calendar, you will have a visibility of an event on that particular day. So you can plan accordingly. It helps in planning you. So you can select any one of them and delete any one of them by selecting and deleting. You can see it is showing you free time over here, shows as free. So I can put it as out of office now. For example, in the holidays, I don't want anybody to send me any appointments or meetings. So I will put it the time as out of office. So this is blocking my calendar now. I can put busy as well, for example. So I've selected all of them as out of office. So now my events are on the top and my days are blocked. So no one can send any uh, meeting requests because he will clearly see that the time is shown as out of office. So you will be aware of the fact that I'm not in the office. So this is how you can simply put your holidays, your events in your Outlook through a single file with only Notepad. I hope you enjoyed guys and you learned it. Uh, looking forward to talk to you again. Bye-bye.